unless we understand what is really wrong with our institutions, with the structures of power, the structures of politics, the process of decision making, process of budget allocation, we will not understand where our problem is coming from. So you can take the blue economy and say, well, it has to do with marine issues, everything under the CFA. That is just the point. If you put the wrong person in the right place, they will mess up whatever policies you bring up there. Leadership, very important. How do you treat women? How do you treat the youth? How do you treat rural communities or underserved communities? There are certain places in Lagos that have become known as the poverty headquarters. They've been like that since I knew Lagos. But with Lagos has produced governors and governors, just like other states in Nigeria. Leadership to make change, to have the courage to take critical decisions, even when they would affect their personal interest, is very important. I would also quickly talk about economic indices. I am part of the government, but I've never had cause to believe anything coming from National Bureau of Statistics because I don't see them anywhere. I have never met one of them. And I'm above 60, and I'm a grassroots person. I have never met one of their staff, even conducting survey in the market. My mother, I went to market with my mother every day. I went to her shop, I stayed there. We never saw them. So how do they come out to say a tuba of yam is 1,500? Where did they get that from? Which market did they go to? So it is important when we talk of ease of doing business, are we serious? If Gombe has been remained number one consistently, it is leadership. If you fly into Gombe, you don't need to, anybody to tell you there is government here and that this government is working. Not just from environmental perceptions of what you see, but also from the conduct of the people, the efficiency of the institutions and the priorities of that government. Not painting, but concrete programs. Okay, I was chairman of basic education, and we went to Gumbe. I was shocked. Quiet, not making a lot of noise, not buying airtime, etc. So I think if we are not taking the ease of business seriously, our discussion and investment in these areas are talking about diversification. By the way, diversification, we've been talking about this since I entered primary school. In fact, uh, if you go to your OA Lawa, <laughs> Economics of West Africa, it is there. We all read it for WIAC exams. Yet the country is not diversified. And we have produced leaders. And you look, we know those who ruined this economy. They are not spirits, they didn't come from heaven. If you give me a piece of paper, I can list at least a hundred of them for you. But they are working free, no punishment. Corruption, we talk about it, but there is no serious sanction. Even when the court sentenced people to jail, they add a light fine to it, which they pay with a smile, and go back home to spend the loot. There are things we must do seriously to diversify the economy. Things we must do seriously for outsiders to take us seriously. Things we must do seriously for those who even steal money to invest it in the economy. What money is stolen in America per capita than in Nigeria? But they don't bring it to banks in Nigeria. But when we do it here, the first place is to see how we take it out. Though there are a lot of controls now which we must commend the government for. Finally, the issue of insecurity is important for economic diversification. In my own constituency that I know very well, half of the farmers don't go to farm anymore. Two, three weeks ago, I had to contribute to paying ransom to rescue the son of my woman leader. Because the police couldn't help her, the DSS couldn't help her, and she had to look for money to pay. Otherwise, they said, we'll waste him in three days if you don't pay. But before then, bring us Gary, Indomie, uh, Indian hemp, and Tramador. So the, 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 the security situation is very, very important. To go to my own constituency, just this last weekend, I had to take six policemen from here, take one from Benin, take four soldiers from uh, uh, Sobe, 
to go to my village where I'm the traditional prime minister. I mean, so these are things that affect. How do you go and put a hotel in such a place, for example? Who will stay there when you know they are bandits left, right, and center? And finally, our young people, the women, we're talking of uh, the gender bills. We have never had a house of representatives that is as open, as accommodating, and prepared to work with civil society than this one. Yet, I'm not seeing the civil society organizations taking advantage of this. We've never had the number of intellectually inclined legislators as we have as this one. Persons who are ready to work and deliver. Open, we did an open week recently, inviting everybody. Come, come and question us, ask us. All they are interested in your salary, your allowances, as if we shouldn't earn salaries and allowances to do the work. You know, there are critical issues affecting Nigeria, and if we do not discuss them, find solutions to them, put them in the appropriate boxes, we will not come up with a holistic agenda that will enable diversification to take place and the prioritization of the great blue and digital economy. We are the most creative and productive people. Our young people have succeeded in spite of the government. I have succeeded in my life in spite of the government, not because of government. And the most of us were ready to work. Imagine what a little push we do to the majority of our people. So I want to appreciate you for putting this up, for accommodating me this morning to make uh, some of my own views, which, like I said, uh, have nothing to do with the speaker, uh, but I will let him know I came to represent him, but it is my own view. And if we do not do the right thing at the right time, we will all regret it too, uh, because uh, like they say, when the sheet hits the ceiling fan, it will spray on everybody. Even if you have an umbrella in your pocket, it will spray on your umbrella, and some may go beyond the umbrella. So let us forget all these minor divisions, many of them created by hunger, by poverty, by pressures from home, by imperialism, and work together to build the kind of Nigeria we will all be proud of. I want to thank you all.